Well, I guess they'll see us coming. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We're out here trolling today, trying to go after some brown trout. I got my first line out, and second line here is going to be on the fly rod we built. And I'm a little bit worried that these hooks are not going to be big enough for a decent sized brown trout. So, shiner, toss him out. Big old bass. <laughs> Big old smolly. All right, so the live bait isn't working. I'm gonna switch over here now to downriggers and just pull some spoons and pick the speed up a little bit. All right, so it's downrigger time. Now, the only problem is I only have one like heavier downrigger rod right here. The other one is in the boat up at camp. So we got this one that's pretty stout rod that can handle some big fish. The other one, <laughs> it'll be an interesting fight if we get anything of any size on it. It's like a trout kokanee rod, so I just kind of put it together. But we're going to be using these Northeast Troller spoons. A little bit bigger profile. There's alewives in here. It's a little bit fatter, like an alewife would be. So, hoping that that's going to be the ticket. We're going to start right out with that. All right, on this other rod here, the kokanee rod. We're going to be running the alewife spoon, which is probably the rod that we're going to get a fish on if we even get one. Okay, not too. Uh, confident about that one. I just heard it jump back there. Nice. It is a trout for sure. <laughs> Brown trout. Wow. Sorry, buddy. I didn't even know you were on there. Nice little fat brown there. He's probably 16 inches or so. Gotta get him right back home. Let's get him right back here. Ooh. Yeah, he was ready to go. I've been out here for a few hours with, with no bites. I've been trying different stuff, different depths different parts of the lake so I wasn't paying too much attention and I heard that fish rise to the surface there and uh, he was on I don't know how long he was on for but we'll check the footage when we get back home see if we can get a couple more you know what I'm gonna do so we don't miss another one like that I mean we're lucky enough that we actually landed it but I'll put some jingle bells on the tip of this bad boy I trolled back and forth over that spot where we caught that fish and nothing else came of it. So 
I'm gonna pull up my rods and zip over to the other side of the lake here where I started out this morning and marked a ton of bait. Um, I should have spent more time there probably, but uh, I'm gonna go back over there, see if we can still mark some bait and get down into that uh, strike zone, see if we can pull up a fish or two. We have arrived. Pulling right through it. That's my downrigger balls right there, and that's a cloud of bait. Right. Yeah, see, <laughs> the problem with this rod is that it doesn't have the balls to bury the hook so i feel like i gotta kind of set the hook when it takes it which is what i just did there and it popped off so i don't think the hooks really penetrate especially if it's a you know if it's a pike or something with a harder mouth even like a big trout trying to get those hooks buried in there is going to be a little difficult because that's a kokanee rod and kokanee have pretty soft mouths but it's all I had. Of course, this rod didn't go off. This is the one that would have been perfect for it. Again. We got him. Came off, dude. Kidding me? Dude, this rod. All right, putting this rod out the exact same depth, exact same lure. See if we can get one more fish in the boat. I've lost two or three already on this rod. Oh, I've lost three on that rod. This one's going in neutral here. Woo! <laughs> this is big, whatever it is. Oh, it's a nice brown. Stay down, buddy. Stay down. Oh, yeah. Nice silvery brown. There we go, baby. Finally. Nice. Nice fat brown. <laughs> Get a quick measurement. 21 inches. You ready? I finally got some hits up and down this pass right here. And every pass I'm getting a hit so I'm glad I got that on the big rod because I'm not sure it would have landed it on that little kokanee rod but I switched over to both spoons um, the alewife pattern by Northeast Troller link it down in the description below seems to be what they're liking right now so I'm gonna set this thing back up see if we can maybe land another one we got one Got one. Just reset the rods. Oh, we got another little brown on. Put this way to control. Still a little there on. Stay out of there. Stay out of there. We found them. <laughs> Come on, on the kokanee. All right, get in here. Woo! go baby <laughs> that's a nice brown so 
didn't even get to reset the rods. Just reset one and picked up this pretty guy here. Check out the spots on him. Pretty sick. Another 17, 16, 17 inch fish. Let's see if he's ready to go here. Here he goes. You came off, dude. Come on. This rod sucks. Oh, I would have been better off with just a heavier spinning rod or something with this reel on there. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick this up. Oh my god. What is hooked on that? What is happening? That line twisted? I'm wrapped. Something. I got a fish on. I do. Yep. We got a fish on. <laughs> I, I thought there might have been something on there. I could see that rod bouncing a little bit. Somehow I got wrapped in the release. Let's put this in neutral. <laughs> it's a decent one. Stay on, buddy. I thought that might be the case. Something was weird there. Oh yeah, dude, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. It must The line must have been wrapped around somehow and it wasn't releasing. And I could see the rod kind of bouncing a little bit there towards the end, so I wondered if there might have been a fish on there. Something was going on, and there was. So let me show you this guy. Pretty nice fish. Good quick measurement. This one is... 19 inches on the dot. Yeah, look how thick that guy is. All right, see you, bud. Here he goes, back down to the deep. <laughs> Sick. Not really an ideal situation, but uh, we let that fish rest and he took it off under his own power no problem so no harm no foul there got into some fish only fished about half the day here I got some plans later it's noon right now so I got to get back home eat some lunch hey can't complain thanks for watching guys if you want to see more fishing videos truck camping videos I do a bunch of different stuff please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and we'll catch you guys in the next video oh, this is Three pounder, baby.